That's well. That's really. I think Noam Chomsky was like the first mainstream dude to popularize the notion of why aren't America more than half of fucking Republicans want Medicare for all? Why can't Americans just get what they want? You know, like what? Why is it so? Why is it such sure. a struggle to? God, can you imagine, dude? Like. And there's this whole thing, like, I hate that fucking, I fucking hate this, that whole, and it's really a centrist kind of thing of like, well, things move slowly and we got to take our time with this stuff. And, you know, it's like, fuck off, dude. Like, no, like we're literally being cucked for like fucking a hundred years and like we could have this shit by now, you know, I just, uh, God, dude, can you imagine like that? Like for sure, like uh, anyone that spends any time on Twitter and, you know, I'm I'm not saying you or I are, are above this. But you could see that, like, if, if aliens looked at, like, the average person on Twitter, would be like, oh, these guys are still, like, fighting with each other all the time and shit, you know what I mean? And just, like, exactly. trying to, you know, still going to do it, not going to stop. But um, but can you imagine how much more peaceful we'd be with each other if we, like, got the shit we wanted and we didn't have to fight partisan-wise for it? You know what I mean, dude? How great, you know? That's what I yeah, mean. Dude. And then, like I said, then it becomes a personality exactly. contest, which is what president, which is what the president is. race is, yeah. anyways. Get rid of the so deep state. You let it, you let it, yeah. you let it be with it, what it is, and then have it not be harmful to be that. You could be like, no, I, I like this guy, you know, because of this. I like this guy because he likes the fucking Chicago White Sox. I like, I like Obama because he's a fucking basketball Facts. fan. I like, you know, Facts. you could do anything like that. And and uh, and then I'd be like, hey, Biden's president. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. I have I have my health care. Um, you know, we eliminate this and that. I mean, obviously, we see why that can't happen as far as you know from their side. Yeah, you know the the deep state side, basically of, of and the lobbyist and corporate money type side. That's why that's that's why private health care yeah. is so popular because there is no party that genuinely wants to disavow mm-hmm. it. So. Mm-hmm. Like that, I'm saying, but if you we voted on it tomorrow, I I bet it would pass seventy thirty. I mean, yep. it's, they already do like small sample size polls of it. I don't see why that wouldn't be. Yeah, l- let's be conservative and say sixty forty. Either way, it passes. And just uh, just but, how fucking okay, like literally seeing it, Medicare for all is an, and it's, it's it's an investment. It's an investment. They, like our country would be stronger. Like it's not like first of all, it would save money. It's like literally going from spending. Like let's like, say you make. Let's say you make fifty grand a fucking month, right? You're hella yeah. rich, and you spend forty grand of that on like, on like Twitch streamers or like e girls or some shit, and like you and uh-huh. you save like five hundred a month in your four hundred one k. Like, damn, can you imagine if you like literally dropped five hundred on e girls and Twitch streamers and and put like forty k yeah. into fucking into your four? Yeah, you'd be rich as shit within like five years. Dude, you dude. much ba- how much bath water that would so buy? Much, Holy dude. Shit. That's what I'm saying. Dude. Yeah, and so it's like literally. It, compare that to the military compare that and i do think you know that i think that like our healthcare system is fucked up beyond just not having Medicare for all like we do need to there would there would still be problems yeah yeah, there's still but they'd evaporate much quicker under a a and and let's be real there there's even with what you're saying because i know what you're saying and i agree with it like uh, but for me it's like dude i fucking broke my toe and i need to you know like there's certain things where you go to the doctor where it's like the doctor's the doctor it doesn't matter and like you can like i broke my toe and like i'd like to just have it looked at and like it's just things like that certain things that you don't want a thousand dollar bill for and and really what the private insurance company is is gambling it's basically you're gambling on yourself not getting hurt yeah it's all and like a risk. Which, yeah, it's like a Bitcoin trade, dude. It's like, what's the risk it reward is. on this trade? Yeah, they, you're literally letting the market dictate your life. That's what it is. That's what capitalism is. It's you look at a trading chart that'll tell you everything about capitalism, like that you see, and it's I don't know, man. Yeah. And and look, I the last subject I want to talk about today, and we talked about it last time a little bit, and I just wanted to clarify something about five G. Yeah, five uh, G. I said last time that I think it lowers your immune system yeah. and makes it makes you susceptible to coronavirus. I don't want that to be misconstrued that coronavirus isn't no, real. We don't walk back takes it's, on this podcast. No, just kidding. It's true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Open takes. it up. Open yeah. it up, Newsom. Open it up, Newsom. I'm trying to go to we Five Guys. Yeah. I want to sit down in Five Guys with the peanuts. Five, five G's. Five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Five G's. I didn't do that. I didn't even think about that when I said that, dude. You're, yeah, 
I, 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 dude, I'm, I'm longing. I'm longing five guys right now. I'm longing it, and uh, and I'm down six fifty. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but five no, the, I, I I didn't I didn't when I I don't mean it in the sense because the rear, the problem is is the conservatives are ruining the five G conspiracy. Theory. Always they, they they're always ruining do, it. Dude. They're fucking ruining yeah. it just the way they did with Pizzagate. I feel like everything I else. Think they, you're wrong. I think you're right. I think that shit. Like there's there's no evidence. No, I, I just yeah. I can't prove it. I can't prove course, it. Yeah. I, that's why I think. That, I don't think because, it's yeah. It's look, not like it's. A lot of times things are related, but not like fucking five G causes coronavirus. You know, like no one, no one except for the magazines well, think well, that. Well, what shit, they're, you know, no, no, no. What they're saying, what their take is, is that it's not coronavirus. This is five G poisoning. Oh, whoa! That's what their take yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. That's why, like, they ruined Pizzagate. Yeah. Like, they ruined that already. Yeah. Like, they always with, go too hard. The, they always go too yeah. hard in the paint. You know, the wrong direction. Wrong direction. They're like the type of guy yeah. when you're driving, and they're like, "Hey, maybe we should go off of what Waze is saying." They're like, "I know a better way." And then like Waze is just recalibrating. Like, uh, time. You see the time on the bottom taking way longer for you to get to the place. Yeah. It's like that's what they're doing, and so that's their take on that. I'm not a part of that. I just think that. Radio exposure exposure to like huge amounts of radiation is going to weaken your immune system. That's why you have childhood brain cancer rates higher than they've ever yep. been and stuff like that. So I don't. But the problem is is now like and I I, I credit a lot of this to True and on and I don't want to step on like their content or anything. But they had a guy on um, and his name's first name's Jathan and he uh, let me get his actual name because he's really fucking smart and really really good takes uh, like a really good calculate Jathan Sadowski. Um, he just wrote a book about like how smart is too smart. He's a tech blogger that feels kind of ostracized dude, at, within the at community. Me, at me, at me, that dude's shit. I want to his name. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll it. send yeah. him to you. Yeah, he's he, he's really tight. Um, so he uh ended up he ended up writing a book and like a lot. He said he kind of gets a lot of like flack in the tech community because like if you st- if you have any kind of trepidation on like how much is like too much technology, they freak out in the tech community. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Like they're just like, wait, whoa, bro, are you like, are you not like tech positive? It's a cult, dude. Like, it's a yeah, cult. yeah. He, it's so weird. And um, he what he was what what he was saying is like, dude, we we don't. This isn't even in South Korea right now. It isn't really like paying dividends yeah. to have five G. Yeah, it might be for like artificial intelligence, which that's a whole other argument of why you want so much of that. Yeah. Right? I'm not even saying that's not even what I fear about five G because again, if we had automation. Without capitalism, it'd be a lot better. So capitalism and automation is the thing that don't that really can't be mixed together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for us to succeed, it would be great with socialism. It would take away backbreaking labor, honestly. Yeah. And um, but the thing with wh- with what he was doing is he he just like people are like wait you don't like 5g like they don't let you into fucking conferences and stuff like that if you're not like if you're like anti 5g and all he's saying is is like dude there are no long-term studies it's impossible for them to have long-term studies on what this does for your health and they're rolling it out they're rolling it out in uh like nebraska and small towns like the the big 5g setups where they have the fucking towers every 500 feet because they have to be closer than 4g 4g is 2,000 feet apart 5g has to be 500 feet apart so it's more concentrated four four times so four times yeah exactly so yeah 4x leverage homie and uh so it's it's got to be like that and he's saying in my in my opinion my take is is like if this shit really didn't have if they were super super consider uh super convinced that it didn't have any kind of negative effects they'd roll this shit out in beverly hills fucking menlo mm-hmm. park you know what i mean yeah. and stuff like that what do people in nebraska need fucking 5g exactly. for that's that's they're, they're, that's actually a thing that that um that it's not the first time they've done that shit where they they'll put new tech out in like in some random towns and everyone's like why do they do that shit and it's like come on dude. yeah because yeah. they're what because they, if you get microwaved it doesn't fucking matter if they really wanted that shit you you know silicon valley could have everything right now like free wi-fi everywhere you know they have the power to do that shit you know what i mean yeah it's like what what are you not getting done that you need getting done because i think and i'm getting this wrong uh i think because they're they're i i found out what like the g's mean you know what i yeah. mean one g two guys. yeah like, like yeah <laughs> five guys yeah five no it's it's five grams my eighths are five grams <laughs> i got a good plug but uh yeah five g eighths homie uh forty dollars but the uh that's why i'm not in the weed industry anymore yeah. but the uh no it's it's like i think like 2g was email uh 3g was video 4g was like chat internet chatting and like skyping and and stuff like that and then 5g is automation what so so i i might be getting that chart wrong i i I will i but it it is they divide it the g means something it's like it's what you can do with the next g 
So it's really just like you're basically testing shit out to automate your job and to automate. Honestly, I think they're going to automate the fucking police force is what they're going to do. Oh, Robocop, That's going to be. Yeah. And I have been seeing people of all races saying like, well, yeah, robotic cops can't be racist. And you're <laughs> like, oh, my God. First <laughs> off, people write the code. Yeah. There's a person writing the code, so it's like, oh, who do we got writing the code? Oh, David Duke. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> fucking coder. Oh, dude. Anyone, yeah, just anyone like anyone writing the code, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, you're gonna have co- you're gonna have RoboCops, and they're gonna be like, man, more Asians have been pulled over in the past <laughs> month. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> that is than anything. You no, know, because you're gonna have the guy writing the code, and it's like, oh, when I'm in the fast lane and you're going 55. You're telling me the guy that's like, gonna yeah. write the RoboCop <laughs> code. Is not gonna put a skin skin tone calculator in that shit or like a fucking oh, straight video. up like the Family Guy swatch yeah. color chart like yeah like that it's like what do you think about the all the paint swatch. what do you think about all the like the ta- like the takes all the people storming up into Michigan like and shit you know with guns all the white MAGA dudes or whatever uh, uh, and fucking that's... and then being like oh if they're black they wouldn't they wouldn't have a uh, they wouldn't have been even to get like within ten feet of this shit. It's like a bunch of. Uh, I black. think the I think the media the the media narrative wouldn't change, mm-hmm. um, but I think the police the police would fuck up black people trying to do that. Yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting. Someone should try it. Like a bunch of a bunch of fucking yeah black dudes. Should try. Hey, would you risk your life to prove prove um, my point? Real quick? I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, man, hey, look, look, look no further. Back when Ronald Reagan was governor of California. Yeah. And the Black Panthers showed up with fucking legally purchased a- arms yeah. when Reagan signed the Open Carry Act, and they knew that the Open Carry Act was going to lead to more black people getting shot it's <laughs> by funny. like fucking racist. It's funny because like even people. even the idea, even the visual of like a black dude with a gun is like it's not something that is culturally yeah you know like when you picture like a a Second Amendment defender he's like a fucking white dude with a truck you know what I mean the very fact that like a, a black guy would want a gun or anything. It's just so yeah. like just the fact that that image is even like blurred out in people's minds. Like it's not even a possibility. Or he's a criminal. You know, that's, those are the only two options, kind of thing. And I'll go as far as to say this: there are conservatives who buy guns because of black people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and Me- brown, Mexicans. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Of course, I, I, I'm probably using a like an umbrella term that I shouldn't be using yeah. there, but people that aren't them yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and like they're the type of guy when they're at the mexican restaurant and they hear only spanish in the kitchen they're like he's poisoning my fucking food <laughs> they start reaching to their holster yeah it's like dude wh- th- that is one of the worst things i've always hated about like conservative chuds is like anything that's not english means they're talking about yeah. me yeah yeah and it's like <laughs> one one who gives a fuck two if they, uh, like I'm pretty sure they might just be like bullshitting and it's and it's funny because you can tell they know like zero Spanish words and when you live in California you can usually like every like third or fourth word kind of get like the subject matter of what they're talking about yeah. in Spanish because you hear Spanish so much and I could like tell them be like hey, they're talking about like fucking getting fucked up last yeah, night yeah. Like, you know what I mean and they don't want you to hear them talking about getting fucked up last night because you're already you got ice on fucking speed dial and um, but I, again let me get back to just one thing about the 5G yeah. thing I don't want anybody who's listening to this, do not let liberals do that thing where whenever a conservative has a take, any take you have similar to that makes you a conservative. It's not that. Yeah. I don't like 5G, but I don't think it's causing coronavirus. I don't think it's doing – I don't think it's helping our community uh, stay immune to it. But, like, I don't – I don't let people – trick you into thinking 5g is good just because conservatives have this really fucking shitty theory about that's it. a great take and that's not the same as centrism too to like to to admit that conservative has a good take even yeah. even if it's like even if it's that, that's the weird it's thing. not even a good take yeah centri- in my opinion centrism is like a lack of beliefs you know it's like a lack of conviction like you don't want anything you think you know what i mean it's it's yeah. kind of like you politically you're just like ha- you know you're just cool with whatever happens and it's like a fluidity thing where it's like, oh, I'm kind of a liberal yeah, this yeah, election. Exactly. Oh, I'm kind of conservative this election. Yeah. yeah. It's like to me, it's like we're pretty we're pretty stagnant, like yeah. as far as where we are. We're pretty set in our beliefs. Yeah. So like I all I'm saying is is if you think this five G shit is bad, I can't tell you if it is or isn't. I would lean on the side of it not being good. But like I can't tell you whether it is or it isn't, but don't fucking say, don't be one of those guys, I trust science. And it's like you the science, there's no science. For yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, there it's, there is not. There's, there's a there's a okay the and okay this and the fucking mainstream scientists having an opinion 
about a brand new technology is not science. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it's fact. It's not. Dude. Yeah. How many it's times? Like your, it's like how your, many? How many examples? Like how many? Like how, I can think of twenty four off the top of my head right now of like past scientific technological blunders that we thought were totally tight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. 